Marta, you're okay. Emil! Oh! Does it hurt? I treated myself. I'm okay. It's my fault. I never meant for you to get hurt. It's okay. But what's happening to you? Sheena mentioned it too. You've been in Ratatosk mode for a long time. So you're on their side. Huh? Sheena and Richter are both on my case to return to the normal me. And now you too! No, I didn't say... Why? Why should I? My normal self is a pathetic weakling. A cowardly dog who'll never amount to anything. Emil! You said you wanted me to protect you, as a knight of Ratatosk. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So what's the problem? Emil, I didn't mean it like that. Maybe I should just disappear. None of you want me around. Emil! Emil, wake up! Huh? Where am I? Emil, you're finally back. Back? Are you okay? Sheena! Sheena, you're okay too! Yes, I'm glad both you and Marta are safe, but... But... Tenebrae won't wake up. Tenebrae? So Richter didn't get him after all. What are you talking about? You grabbed the core yourself! Huh? I guess... I did? Look, I've been trying the same thing I always do to hatch Centurions, but Tenebrae won't wake up. Whoa! Wh what was that? Tenebrae? Emile, Lady Marta, my most humble apologies for worrying you so. Tenebrae, are you okay? Centurions do not die. They only regress to their core state. Though I would not have been able to awaken had you two not come for me. Tenebrae, you sacrificed yourself for me. I'm sorry. Please, think nothing of it. Thank goodness. I can't stand saying goodbye to friends. Tenebrae! All right, should we start heading back to Meltokyo? Regal must be worried by now. Right! Uh, wait. Um, what about Richter? Any idea what happened to him? I was caught up in the cave-in, so I can't say exactly for sure. But it looked like that Centurion Aqua rescued him before he was crushed. Then he's still alive! Uh, y yeah Probably. Good. The Ratatosk mode you and the normal you are like night and day. <laughs> what, what is it, you two? Tenebrae, welcome back. We really missed you. Oh my. Well, I am sorry for causing concern. Is that all you gotta say? Show some emotion. Is old age making us a little grumpy? How rude. I would ask that you not treat me like an elderly dimwit. Look, he's getting angry. It's really him. Yep, I wouldn't have him any other way. Wh what happened while I was gone? That's weird. When did I pick up Tenebrae's core? Is something wrong, Emil? Well, yeah. My memory is... Your memory? No, it's okay. It's nothing. My memory of when I arrived at the Temple of Darkness is really hazy. Why? Hey, Mom, do you... Huh? I'm sorry. That just sort of came out. 
I guess it's because you seem sort of mom-like. You think I'm motherly? Are you implying that I'm old? No, no, not like that. I mean, you were really kind and grown up and stuff and, I don't know, kind of like the middle-aged women who lived in my neighborhood. What? Yeah. Hey, Tenebrae, help me out here. You see, on some level, Emil feels a sort of attachment toward you as a mother. And as we know, a powerful symbol of motherhood is the breast. The young man is simply expressing his appreciation for your ample bosom. Huh? Is that how you've been looking at me? You, you, you creep! You jerk! You perv! How could you? I hate you! <laughs> I guess reawakening didn't change you, Tenebrae. Regal! You're all right. What about Tenebrae? As you can see, I am quite well. Terribly sorry to have worried you. So, Regal, did you talk to His Majesty about Glaucius's core? Actually, there's been a bit of progress on that front, which is why I came to find you. Progress? You mean, you know who has the core? That's correct. It's one of Maltokyo's nobles, just as we suspected. So who? Hopefully someone who will fork it over without too much trouble. I don't believe it should pose much of a problem. The buyer was one Celis Wilder. Celis? You mean that idiot Chosen sister? The Chosen Zelos' sister? Indeed. We should head to Zelos' mansion. Does that sound good to you two? Of course. I'm not exactly enthusiastic, but it's not like we have a choice. I'm not too eager myself, but let's go. How is the Temple of Darkness? It was really dark. It is, after all, the resting place of my altar. One should expect some darkness. That's right, you're a dark elemental. Darkness is quite pleasant. It wraps the world in a warm, black blanket. It would seem, though, that my altar was converted into a temple of some sort during my sleep. I think it was Crucius that built the temples. Crucius is that institution in the heavens where Goddess Martell lives, right? Yes. I suppose that describes it well enough. So the Church of Martell's followers turned the Centurion's altars into temples. Indeed. It's rather rude to remodel someone's home without asking permission. They've ruined the bleakness of my magnificent lair. What's the big deal? Still plenty dark. The quality of the darkness is as different as night and day. Can you truly not appreciate that fact? I guess some differences are too subtle for we humans to perceive. Um, so who is Celis? Celis is the half-sister of Zelos, the Chosen. She has a frail constitution. Without the aid of an X-Sphere, even everyday activities are difficult for her. X-Spheres? Those stones with mysterious powers, right? And they were made by the designs. Yes. They allow people to amp their abilities to their full potential. Both of us have one. The King has issued an order demanding the surrender of all X-Spheres. So we'll have to return these as well someday. At any rate, Celis didn't waste any time in giving her X-Sphere back. And that's why Zelos has been so worried about her. When Celis is involved, the Chosen has a tendency to lose his composure. Anyone so much as touches a hair on her head and he'd hunt them down to the gates of hell itself. Wow, that's so dashing! I wish I had an older brother like that. <laughs>